Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. And thank you for joining me in Way Back Wednesday, the day of the week when I go back in time and recreate a project from the past. And this time we're going back to January 2014 to this project here, which is a beautiful box that you can see in real life that holds a dozen tea lights. Now, these are the ones you pick up in the supermarket. Um, and I picked up, it was a set of 27 of them for a pound. And I picked up two sets, so I had the pale pink, uh, sorry, pale pink, pale purple, and a darker purple, um, which is what's inside there. Unfortunately, I burned most of the, the lilac colour, so I'm happy to mix and match, but there are a full dozen in there. They're in four towers of three. And the pattern I had originally, that's gone. The um, framelit that I used is gone, so it's a total overhaul. Okay, so let me pull up my measurements. So it is, oh, I can tell you the measurements when it's finished three and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and a half inches deep which is eight by eight by four so even if you don't want to put two lights in it good size so let's pull up my measurements and see what you see so piece of card stock that's nine and three quarters by six and one eighth of an inch that's 25 by 16 centimeters stamped all over it. i'm using the new falling flowers which does come with a set of framelits if you'd like but i like to work with stamps so i've got that let's get a big block and Wisteria Wandering, and I like the tone on tone. Let me move that out of the way. And I'm going to start in the middle and fill in the gaps around it. I love tone on tone stamping. It's There's something so elegant about it. So I get different patterns. There we go. So that is now stamped. Okay, so let me get the scoring tool out. And oh, wipe the tripod. So on the long side, we're going to score it every four inches. Uh, we're not at all, we're going to score it every where are we? So score it at half an inch. I'm looking at my measurements and reading the metric. Half an inch, three and five eighths, five and one eighth, and eight and a quarter. <laughs> but in metric, for some reason, I've got you set up like that. So four, 12, 16, and 24. But it doesn't matter. Everything will be on my blog. On the short, the short side, I really can't speak. One and a half. And four and five eighths of an inch, which in metric is four and twelve. Oh, it hurts. It's painful, isn't it? Okay, right. I need to do some framelit work before I carry on. So I'm going to get my big shot out. I'm going to lose that there. And actually, before I get the framelits out, and what I've uh, sorry, before I get the big shot out, I've got the framelits. This is the Project Life cards and labels, and I want this one here to cut these holes in the side. Now, if you're a soap maker or a chandler, this is great because you can, your customers get the scent um, without having to, you know, rip open a box and go, oh, what does it smell like? Or what color are they? And we need to put these in two particular places. Now, I gently fold up these. This short side here is the bottom of the back. So that's gonna be hidden away. Um, that's that part there. So what you're cut, where you're cutting is away from that short edge. So on these divides here, this first one and the second one. And I have been very, very clever, very good to you and set it the width of the cardstock so that it will exactly fit through a regular big shot. You don't need to fold up the sides or anything like that. So I've got my big shot here and I've got my magnetic platform. And I'm lining this up um, basically straight across that score line in the middle. And I can see it. I don't know how well you're seeing it. And what I'll do is I'll run this through and then I will show you what, how I laid it up. That cracking is normal. That's the pressure of the Big Shot doing its thing. 
so you can see it's gone straight through the middle and it's gone through the sides as well. And I'm going to repeat that down here as well. Oh. So that's on the next one, the score line that's next to that. You can hear my cold just coming out again. Don't we just love a summer cold? Aren't they always perfect timing? And that's gone through as well. Let me get the big shot out of the way. So that has gone through on the score lines. So I can now burnish quite happily because I've got my scoring done. The reason I didn't burnish before was so that my piece of cardstock was still pretty much flat. You get more like more chance of it wibbling and moving around if you've already scored it, or rather already burnished it. So that's going to come around and stick. What I need to do now is cut up these lines here. So cut all of them. And then cut the little skinny ones away. Don't need those. Okay, so we only need one piece of adhesive and that's down on this little loose edge that's opened up here because the other sides are actually going to remain open. And the reason is that for that is so that you can fill and refill with candles as you want. So they're both the same either side, but this is the top. So you would fold in that one last, grab your stacks of candles and I'm going to try and cover up those dark ones. I don't think, oh, I did get enough candles out. because so I don't want the dark ones showing. I've just pinched them. <laughs> So slide your stack of candles in. There's three, you can see you've gone in. That's another three, six, nine, and 12. And you would never believe that this holds 12 candles, would you? Fold in your sides, fold in your bottom, and that, and then we're gonna wrap our ribbon that way. And this is the new solid uh, baker's twine. We've got loads of colors of the solids and the thicks. And this is actually elegant eggplant, but even though it's not the, the matching color, I think it goes rather well and it's the same as I put on this one, so perfect plum with elegant eggplant. So just wrap it around as much as you like. And that holds the box shut, which is what we want. Tie a bow. And job done. Cute, isn't it? A dozen tea lights. Who knew? Thank you ever so much for joining me, and I hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.